Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can use a vertical number line, which is just a number line that goes up and down, to be able to help us estimate and measure the volume uh, in liters and milliliters. So our learning goal for today says, I can estimate and measure liquid volume in liters and milliliters using a vertical number line. So for this lesson, you don't need any materials. You'll just follow right along with us um, as we go through. I am going to go over one of the problems on your problem set, so I'll let you know when I do that. So then you'll be able to go back to the video and watch it if you need help completing that part of the problem set. All right, so I'm going to go for a run on the treadmill. Whew, look at me go. I know I'm going to need to drink some water while running. So I have these glasses of water here. Well, each glass has 100 milliliters of water, but I can't go for a run with 10 glasses of water on that treadmill, right? That'd be just crazy. What could I do with all of these glasses to make it easier to drink while I run? What do you guys think? Yo, I have a great idea. You know what I could do? I could get a water bottle, right? So, I'm gonna take and pour each one of these glasses or each one of each glass into my water bottle. And I'm gonna mark a line on the side of each bottle to represent each 100 milliliters. Because remember, each one of my glasses has 100 milliliters of water. So I'm gonna just draw this line here so I can keep my, my marks lined up nice and neat. So I'm gonna start, well, there's nothing in there, right? The bottom is empty, so that's zero milliliters. And I'm gonna take this glass right here and I'm gonna empty it into my water bottle and now, I have a tick line, right? I'm gonna draw a line right there. Now I'm gonna take another one, fill it up into my water bottle, and now I have another line. So, so far I have 100, 200 milliliters in there, right? Let's do another one. Oh, there's 300 in there now. 400. 500. 600, 700, 800, 900, and then our last glass, right? To the very tippy top, which is 1,000 milliliters, right? So what do these tick marks remind you of? Like as we're looking at this and we're kind of going like up and down on this line, what does it remind you of? Yeah, maybe a number line, right? So it's going up and down instead of sideways. So if you take your head and turn it sideways on the screen, that's gonna probably look very close to like a number line for you. Well, another way to say up and down is vertical. So this is a vertical number line. We're used to numbers going side to side, like left to right. That's a horizontal number line. But when we take them and go up and down like a ladder, like this one looks like, it's a vertical number line. Which tick mark shows the most liquid volume in our water bottle here? Yeah, this one all the way at the top, right? 1,000 milliliters. Which capacity is represented by that mark? Yep, 1,000 milliliters, right? Or we could say that's one liter. Use a vertical number line to show the mark that shows about halfway to one liter. So I want you guys to pause the video and I want you to think about where would halfway be on my number line here. So pause the video and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here is where I have my halfway point and I know that's 500. Okay, so this goes along with problem set for number one. The process of adding that uh, water by 100 milliliters and then finding the halfway point, that'll help you with number one, okay? So let's say this small bottle contains 200 milliliters of water. If I pour the whole bottle into my water bottle, what tick mark would the water go up to? So I want you to pause, think about that. Where would that 200 milliliters of water go if I put it into my big water bottle? What line would it be? What tick mark? And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. 
yeah, it's going to go here, right? Because we're at zero, then 100, then 200. So here's 200 milliliters. Is the water level in the bottle less than halfway, more than halfway, or about halfway to a liter? So remember, your halfway point is that 500. So am I, if I'm trying to get to the 1,000 up there, is the 200 more than halfway, less than halfway? or about halfway to the liter. Pause the video if you need to think about it and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends. Yeah, it's less than halfway, right? Because it's under that 500 mark, which is our halfway mark. All right, let's look at another one. Let's say this small bottle contains 700 milliliters of water. If I pour the whole bottle into my big water bottle, what tick mark would the water go up to? So pause, think about where's that gonna go? You can start at that 500 if you want to and count up hundreds. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So here is where my 700 milliliters would be. I could start at my 500 and count up, 600 is the next tick mark and then 700. Okay, so for this one, is the water level in the bottle less than halfway, more than halfway, or about halfway to a liter? I want you to pause the video, think about that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. So is it less than halfway, more than halfway, or about halfway? Yeah, it's more than halfway, right? It's above that 500 milliliters, which is our halfway point. All right, friends, so now we're gonna estimate the amount of liquid in the water bottle to the nearest 100 milliliters. So that means that it's not gonna come perfectly close to one of our milliliters that we have measured on here. It's not gonna be exactly at the 100. So we're gonna have to estimate and say, which one is it probably closest to? Okay. So if I look here, look at what I just have filled up in my water bottle. Which milliliter is that closest to? Which hundred milliliter? Well, I know to me when I look at that, right, I see that it's between the 200 and the 300. So is it closer to 200 milliliters or is it closer to 300 milliliters? Yeah, it's closer to 300, right? It's close to that line. It's much farther away from the 200 milliliters. All right, let's look at another one. So we're gonna estimate the amount of liquid in the water bottle to the nearest 100 milliliters. So here's my next amount of liquid. So pink and pretty this time. Now look at what two milliliters is it, or 100 milliliters is it between? Is it between the zero and the 100? No, it's more than that. Is it between the 100 and the 200? Nope, keep going. Oh yeah, it's between the 400 and the 500 milliliters. So which one is it closer to? 400 milliliters? or 500 milliliters. Yeah, it's closer to 400 milliliters. Awesome. All right, so you guys did a super job estimating liquid volume using the vertical number line. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.